Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another Inform Player Review with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD. This episode, guys, we're going to be looking at second Inform Jagielka, the 82 rated centre back from Everton. Now, make sure you go follow me on Twitter before and like this video, guys. It means an awful lot if you would do so. So, Jagielka, we'll get into the review now. He was very, very good rock solid as you would expect from a card that's got 87 defending and when you combine that with 86 physicality you know you've got a rock he is that that good you know people were put off by his previous inform card because of his pace and that is something I will address in this card as well but let's start off with with the best bits about it which is that defending you know he's got 88 slide tackle he's got 89 stand tackle his marking his positioning his interceptions they're all so so good you know his uh his work rates are really nice as well i like that he's got high defensive always good for a center back medium attacking is, is all right don't really notice it i always found him Bang on in position. I never found him going forward too much unless you carried him forward personally. So, you know, forget about that. But, yeah, defensively, always in the right place. Interceptions all day long. And, you know, if anyone runs at him, you know, or tries to get around him, it's very, very difficult because he just gets a foot in, you know, shoulders them off if he's running with them. And, and it makes that interception, makes that challenge that wins you the ball back and allows you to get it further up the pitch and get the team moving and get you on the attack. Now Jagielka is not just a master of the tackle, he is super strong and great in the air. You know, whether it's in the opposition's box or in his own, he is going to be winning pretty much every header there is. Now, that's a great thing because I've found that corners are a lot easier to score now. I'm pretty sure EA have uh, addressed that fact because they were almost impossible unless you did a very clever, uh, well-worked sort of set piece. Now you can literally just move it a little bit, cross it in, and, you, and you've got a good chance of scoring. So it's important to have good centre-backs, you know, good players that can get up and, and get you a goal, especially in tight games. You know, goals from set pieces like a corner are always a good way, you know, to get in a game and to nudge in front. And Jagielk has got that in abundance. But on the flip side, he's also got the ability to, you know, stop those things sort of happening to you. You know, clear his lines, any crosses that are coming in, he's winning everything. Chip through balls, he's well positioned. He's going to cut that out with his head as well. And not only cut it out, you know, he's often passing it with his head to a teammate you know the ball's going to land with your player so you keep possession and you can get back on the attack so defensively like I said his tackling fantastic out of this world his positioning his marking brilliant heading and strength so so good coming on to the pace you know something that people are looking at this card a little bit more attractively now it's got the 70 pace it's still not great, I'll be honest. You know, you can see that by looking at the key stats at the side of the screen and seeing his 67 acceleration, not great. Especially when you combine it with 71 sprint speed. So, he doesn't get going over the first few yards, to be honest. And even after that, he still don't get going. You know, it's okay, it's manageable. And as you can see that, you know, I paired him with Koscielny, who's got 81 overall pace. You know, I had Walker and Moreno on as fullback, so they were covering well. You know, and like I said, his positioning's so good that he will still make a lot of vital contributions to your team. But, you know, it is important to pair him with some players who are just going to, you know, cover him on the odd occasion where his pace or lack of pace is exploited. So other areas, his dribbling, not great. You know, he took quite a heavy touch. His shooting was was okay. He's got decent sort of long shots and shot power for, for a centre-back. So just on the odd occasion, if he is up there and, and he has a chance, don't be afraid to shoot. His passing, you know, he's got the long passer trait. You know, his passing was okay. Definitely get you up and moving. Min and max price range is around 40 to 70. 
you know, he's currently going for around 40 to 45 on both consoles. I think that's, you know, not too bad at all, to be honest. Good value for money from a really good centre-back. So overall, I have given him 8 out of 10. You know, he's not the complete player. If his passing and his pace were sort of a bit higher, I think he'd be pushing the 9 sort of bracket and maybe higher. But as it stands, you know, he's a great defender. He's just lacking that little bit more to push him, you know, into that 9 and 10 category. Overall, great value for money. A second in form card with those sort of stats for around 40k. I don't think you're going to get better. There are a few cons, like I said, more pace would be good. Shooting isn't overly fantastic. Dribbling with his heavy touch and, and stuff isn't great. But there are so many pros that make this card very, very good, as you can see on the screen. So that was my review of Second Informed Jagielka. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, and peace!